Merrimack Valley Baptist Church and welcome to the kids moment. Today we're going to be talking about the, oh, um, as I was saying, we're, hold on one second, I think somebody's at the door, um, come in. Well, hello there, ma'am. How are you doing today? Um, the name is Ricky, Ricky the Rat, and I'm selling some very lovely wigs today. You see, we have blonde wigs, we have brunette wigs, we have rainbow colored wigs, and we even have big afro wigs, any wig that you could possibly ever want. So are you interested in buying a wig today? Um, no. And you do realize this isn't a home, right? It's a church? Oh, uh, that's a new one. That's a new one. I've heard of lots of excuses to get rid of salesmen over the years, but I've never heard that one where anyone would try to convince me that they lived in a church. I mean, do you really want to get rid of me so bad that you would lie while uh, being in a church as your as your home as an excuse? Would, would you do that? That's, that's no, horrible. No, no, this horrible is really stuff. is a church. See, uh -huh. we're in our kids' moment in uh -huh. the service here. Look. Why aren't you looking? Well, you know, technically you, you never invited me into your home, and, it, and it's not polite to walk into a home without invitation. No, but, it says so but, right in my sales rules. No. Fine. Would you please come in so that you can see that this is a church and not a house? Okay, I'll look. Well, well look at it. There's kids and people out there. Well, Herbert Hoover vacuums, you weren't lying. This is a church. That's what I've been trying to tell you. How in the world did you think that this was a house and not oh. a church? And how did you even get past the ushers? Oh, uh, what, uh, anyways, I, you see, what, what happened was I, I was walking down the street carrying my lovely collection of wigs that you just saw, which could be yours for just 10 easy payments of $199.99 plus shipping and handling and tax. Ricky, get back to the story. Oh, oh, sorry, right, right, sorry. Well, I was walking down the street and saw this door. It was so pretty that I knew it just had to belong to a great house. So I've been standing behind it for a while now. Wait, how long have you been standing behind the door? Um... Five days, 19 hours, and 21 and a half minutes. What? Why didn't you knock sooner? Well, well, oh, because, because I'm afraid of doors. Oh, oh, there it is. I'm afraid of doors. Oh. Why are you afraid of doors? Well, because I never know if a door will open. Believe it or not, many people have no desire to talk to a door-to-door -door sales rat. I really think that my product can help a lot of people, especially people, you know, who are bald or, or maybe just have really bad hair. But how can I ever tell them about my wonderful assortment of wigs if the door just stays closed? Oh. You know, Ricky, oh, it's yeah. funny that you're afraid of doors being closed. It is. Because last Sunday we had a guest speaker who talked about doors being opened. Not talking about actual doors, but rather doors being opened by God for us to do as well. Really? Wow. Uh, meaning what exactly? <laughs> really? We learned that God can and will open doors for us in order to give us an opportunity to serve Him. Whether it's to share the gospel with someone, or to teach a class, or serve in a ministry, or help someone in our community. Oh, oh, that's awesome! That's up. Maybe, maybe God can help me. You know what? I think I'll head back through that door over there and find something that I'm comfortable with doing in order to serve God. You know, I heard about this hero rat in Cambodia, Cambodia who's re retiring. So maybe, I, maybe I can take his place. That yeah, I'll do that. Um, maybe I'll. Ricky, what? that's not what we're supposed to do. What, what What? do you mean? We're supposed to pray for God to open a door of opportunity for you, but not only an area you want. Didn't we talk about this a couple weeks ago, Ricky, when you said that you would only serve if you got the position you wanted? Oh, oh, yes, you're right. I'm, I'm messing up here again, aren't I? I should, I should pray for God to use me according to His will and not my own, huh? I think that would be best, Ricky. Our mission as Christian makes every choice matter. We need to make sure we trust God, who alone brings the results. So, uh, stop relying on my own idea of self-reliance, huh? I think you're on the right track, Ricky. Okay, okay. I will pray and not be afraid of doors anymore, because they may be an opportunity from God. There you go, Ricky. All right, all right. But I still need to sell some wigs to people who really need them. You know, where's where's Pastor Greg? I go. Oh, I go, Ricky! What? What? Oh, hey, no, hey, selling Greg. What? Uh, no, 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 no